Richardson Barlow in aggressive oh. mood on a wicket that gives the bowlers just that little assistance. Kan Lee, die bezoekers van startmaker bowler, besef ook dat hij vandaag moeilijkheid gaan krijgen. South Africa's opening pair put on 157. Die Aussie's se vangwerk laat hulle weer nie steek en wanneer Richard se oordeel fout begaan is, se besliste kans daarmee heen. Kry een palk ontvangslag, maar oh wee, Tyber vat suiver achterraak en Gleason laat hom stap vir enkel loopie. This brings Ali Bakker to the fore, who up to now has been struggling to get going. He and Irvin keep the scoreboard moving, but the South African skipper is run out with his score at 17. Next man in is Dennis Lindsay. Irvin koopt lustig voort en dunk niks daar van om Gleason's aflevering oor die touwe te lig nie. South Africa's score of 249 for 5 is a good first day's work. Main to the Australian aanval voor. Laatst wordt Pace een poetjes gebouwd en het wordt aan Dennis Lindsay en zijn vernoot Proctor oorgelaat om vier te maken. Proctor het 26 en wordt paviljoen toegestuurd omdat Tyber geen fout maakt nie. For a moment, Maine gets away from the tense atmosphere of test cricket, but he's on his toes when Connolly bowls Trimborn for a duck. Connolly has Tricos caught behind, and South Africa are all out for 311. He gets a big hand from the crowd for his six for 47. Peter Pollock brandt los met zijn blitzballen, maar Larry en Stackpole laat loop grens toe, doch niet verlangt niet, want kijk net hoe Nicky's laat Proctor op eerste glupier Balo uitvang. Red Paat is nou die man wat kon keer. Tijgelaans draf in, hy bouw, Larry Raps, Lindsay Duik en hy sy. Chappell doesn't stay long, for when he attempts to drive Trimborn, he gets an edge and Proctor holds a good catch. Trimborn strikes again when he forces Walters into a faulty stroke, which gives Dennis Lindsay his second victim. This brings Redpath and Sheehan together, who try to give the Australian innings some stature. Back comes Proctor, and Redpath is out, caught Trimborn for 55. The beginning of the end is Eddie Balo to the aanval to trade. There come Eddie, the ball clapped in his kutte. Who's time in Eddie's kuitsrechter? How say finger top 189 for 6? Sheehan is top scorer with 67 well-earned runs, but is out when Peter Pollock has him caught by Proctor. Mackenzie out to Pollock. Fielder's name, Barlow. Main probeer die port hou, maar die volgende oomblik beland te hou van Gleeson in die veilige handskoene van Lindsay. En wanneer Proctor die penne van Main laat spat, eindig die Aussie sy eerste beurt op 212, 99 achter. The rest of the third day belongs mainly to Barry Richards, who, in a flurry of brilliant aggression, speeds on to his second century at Test cricket, stamping him as one of the most exciting batsmen in the world. Marlowe's 27 makes it obvious that Laurie and his men will have to face a mammoth total in the final innings. Ali Baca, in the meantime, is also chasing the runs. Gleason laat loop binnen toe. Richard sloeg hoog en raak. Sessie. Grey McKenzie storm voor en toe. Richard sê vat so hoog en ver en pas oor. Sessie. Bagger knijp vast met de vier keer en die Australiër weet nou nie hoe om die loopie stortvloed te tem nie. Richard scores 126, ending the series with an aggregate of 508 runs in seven innings. Well played, Barry. Op die vierde dag gesels die brie kolder van Ali Bakker en Irvin al te vrolijk. Toe die Zuid-Afrikaanse kaptein 73 van die moestes behalen, trap hy so waar sy palkie plak. At this stage of the game, the Australian bowling is getting a pasting, as Irvin and Lindsay send the fielders scattering in all directions. Lindsay hits Gleeson for five fours off consecutive balls. Nadat Lindsay uit is versistig, jaag Irvin voort na sy honderdtal. Een machtige sessou en intussen moet Tijgerlands roer om bij te blij. In 
It takes Urban and Lance only 50 minutes to put on 73, and in this period, the Australians fail to hang on to important catches. Uiteindelijk breekt Urban zijn einde aan. A 102 staan achter zijn naam, want er Gliesen geen fout maakt niet. Lekker, lekker, hij voelt ze maar lus en skips kopalen toe. Proctor makes a valuable contribution of 23, and shortly afterwards, South Africa declare at 470 for 8, leaving Australia 570 to win. Aangezien Pieter Palleke besiering opgedoen het, wordt Trimborn vroeg vroeg ingespant in een aanvangspaar wat lijkt op hulp van plan is om vast te schop. Maar niet 100 jaar niet, of Proctor laat stekpel bij. Redpath is at the wicket and starts off briskly, but next thing, Laurie flashes at a ball from Barlow and the Australian captain is out, having made 43. Chapel raps a tiental loopies, maar dan plant Barlow a gevaarlijke in and Chapel wordt op tweede club uitgevangen door Trimborn. Now is Australia behoorlijk in die sop, want kort daarna is de Proctor wat zijn volgende slag offer is, want Redpath die bal naar Barlow se kant toe kerp, 134 to 4. Walters and Chian are the only two recognised batsmen left, but there is no holding the spring box, as yet another wicket falls when Trimborn, aided and abetted by Lindsay, removes Chian, who has scored 46. And this is now where Mike Proctor, the last speaker in the Aussie's Doodske slam. After the new ball is thrown, brand it loose, and in just three beurs, he takes three pals flat for the toevoeging of just five benauwde loopies. All together, six for 73. His best prestation thus far in Toots Cricket. Full marks to Taylor as he desperately hangs on, but now it's all Proctor. There goes Mackenzie, caught behind. Gleason bowled first ball. Last man out is Connolly, and Bucker appropriately ends the series by taking the final catch to send the Aussies crashing to a 323-run defeat, one of the heaviest in the history over Australia. South Africa win the series 4-0, a clean sweep for the first time. Well done, Springboks. The coming team, how do you think they'll compare? Uh, the South African team? Uh, I think some of the...